how to harness the people on YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a robot. Very simple robot, but a robot nonetheless. You need a button cell battery, and some pliers, a toothbrush, which I don't have a hair of, this is just, this is a toothbrush, sort of, and some pliers, a motor, and tape. So, with your pliers, pretend that there is something hanging down there like that, you cut the, you cut it, while holding on to the head, remember that. Otherwise, the head's going to go flying and break the window, which it just did. So when I cut the head off originally. Now, you don't need these anymore. You might, but you don't. If these aren't pre-stripped, then you might need these. But I would recommend using liner strippers. So, you make the jacket for the... First of all, we're going to make the jacket for the engine. Motor, I should say. I'm really stingy about people using the motor when they should use the engine. I should do it myself. Put it like that. Feed the motor through. So it's nice and cozy. Now I have to do a little forcing, that's alright. It's just the motor, it's not an actual moving person. There we go. Until it's nice and snug. Then you pinch it like that. And then that part's done for. Now just make sure to not ruin the stickiness of it. Now you make the jack for the battery. This is quite a bit harder. That's too big. So, over here there's a bunch of piles of tape that I don't use. So don't get, dis don't get discouraged if you don't get perfect the first time. So, you put it on there like that. And then around like that. And you need the sticky side in, and preferably in it preferably flat. Alright, so we have that done. That has the dull side out, so you don't need that. Now we go back to this motor again. This motor is going to be mounted right there, alright? You may think it's good enough since the sticky side's out, we can just do that, but it's not. So, we'll have to make another tapey thingy, like this. Double it over again. Pull about an inch off, maybe a three fourths of an inch off, like that, and then put it right there on that motor, like that, and then stick that on there real nice. That should stay. Now you take your battery, and then you do the same for it, like. That. But before you put your battery on, or in scientist terms, power source, you have to do some stuff. So you put your negative wire on the top or bottom. It does not matter where. The motors will run either way, unless they're really fussy diode motors, which you don't even think. But they have diode motors and do the same with the bottom so you may ask there's no switch how do you get it to stop well if you do it right and it's as sensitive as Jaguar or Porsche well Porsches are actually very tough cars but if they're sensitive like sensitive cars they should be a you should be able to pinch them together real tight and it'll stop. 